The tech firms invited to the White House today released a joint statement just a few minutes ago. It reads, quote, we appreciated the opportunity to share directly with the president our principles on government surveillance that we released last week, and we urge him to move aggressively on reform. I want to bring in our senior White House correspondent, Brianna Keeler. Brianna, the president's meeting with all these tech gurus, it was a closed meeting, but what details can you give us about what these executives were pushing for? Well, Jake, it was a, a long meeting, obviously, and they covered a lot of ground on it. A participant in the meeting telling CNN that they talked about a number of things, in col uh, including bulk collections, so that broad blanket collection of metadata, internet usage, phone calls, uh, as well as they talked about the privacy law that governs this type of surveillance. They talked about the secret court that grants the warrants for this type of surveillance. And they also talked about reforming the agreements between different countries over how to share information across borders. Obviously, because a lot of these companies that were represented here today are multinational companies. So really, the bottom line for them today was the bottom line, because a lot of customers uh, have been very alarmed about the fact that the government is essentially using them as an infrastructure for spying. So that's not good for them economically. And that's one of the reasons why last week, Jake, uh, they wrote an open letter to President Obama and lawmakers voicing their concerns and why they came here today uh, arguing for transparency. Also, a, an announcement from the White House today that a Microsoft executive is taking over the healthcare.gov fix. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Kurt Del Bene, former top executive for Microsoft, he is going to be coming in, we understand, uh, toward the end of January to replace Jeff Zients, who was put in place rather hastily uh, after the failed launch of healthcare.gov. He was, as you know, supposed to go and be President Obama's, one of his top economic advisors in the new year. That's going to be delayed about a month until the end of January. But uh, Del Bene will be replacing him, and he has committed to being in place for the first half of next year. So it really just goes to show you that even though some improvements have been made to the website, there's still a long way to go. It's still a work in progress.